Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for love, appreciation you bring each and every day. Y'all the face to run the place. I cannot do this show without you guys. Thank you for likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for your comments. And guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. I cannot do the show without y'all. Plus guys, if you pass by the YouTube channel and like the contact, you like the show, hit that subscribe button, become an Assassin's today, guarantee. So guys, big news on the Dolphin front. I'm going to talk about Chris Greer, what he said yesterday. I'm going to talk about Brian Forrest, what he said yesterday. I'm going to talk about um, Chan Gailey and what he stepped down. Um, I'm going to talk about Tua. I'm going to talk about a lot of Dolphin things. And I'm going to talk about who I want and um, the Dolphin next officer coordinator. And I'm going to hit on that points. So um, let's get started, right? So, guys. Uh, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you again, guys, for growing the show with me each and every day. Yeah, amazing, man. I, I'm blown away each and every day, man. So thank you so much for that. So let's go on into the show, man. So Chan Gailey steps down, right? I think I think everybody saw it coming. Um, he didn't have a contract. They didn't offer him an extension. Uh, Chan Gailey is a Fitzpatrick guy. He loves Fitzpatrick. Um, I don't think he adjusts the offense to Tua for his skill set. So I think I, I think that hurt hurt Chan Gailey. And Chan Gailey never developed young quarterback, quarterbacks. He never really developed them. So I think that's too the decision. I think both parties just went to him saying, listen, we're not going to we, we negotiate your contract or resign you, whatever the case may be. But they didn't. Um, I think that's a good move for the Dolphins. I think you need somebody. I'm not gonna say young. You could get somebody young or somebody with experience. And I got the guy who I want. I want Anthony Lynn. And because Anthony Lynn, um, one thing about his offense, he adjusts to the quarterback who he has. He adjusts to the quarterback. He builds the offense for that quarterback. You see that. Look what he did with Justin Herbert. He adjusts that. And and, and Anthony Lynn always have a top-rated offense. He's, you know, um, I think I would like Anthony Lynn. He's not a great head coach, but he's a hell of off offensive coordinator. I would love him here in Miami. Um, everybody talking about Bill O'Brien. Again, hell of offensive coordinator. I will not mind having, you know. But that's that's my guy. It's like Anthony Lynn, Brett O'Brien. I would love to have one of those guys. I, I just think because they're just what they have. If they have a quarterback, they're just that the the offense to that guy, um, or somebody from Alabama, or somebody who worked with Tua. I think that would be key. I think that'd be smart. And, and the reason is, look at um, Arizona, got Kingsbury or Murray, smart. So I think all that, um, I I think you need to build this office around Tua. Tua, everybody's uh, is crapping on Tua about what's going on with Tua. Listen, Tua's going to be fine. Um, does he have to improve? Sure. But... The stats came out. He had, he's the only quarterback who threw to tight windows a lot. Um, so I think two would be fine. It, you know, it, listen, he had 15 drop passes in that game. That's, you know, that's ridiculous. Um, then you got to draft a wide receiver. Uh, you still got to draft an offensive lineman. Um, you got to draft a defense or sign. Like I always tell you guys, free agency, I sign defensive players. In the draft, I'm going straight offense. I think that's where your hole's at. I think if you get the weapons for two, I think you'll be fine. Look at look at Tannehill. You got weapons and look at how he, he exploded. So I think you do that for two, I think two will be fine, guys. So um let's talk about Chris Greer, what he came out and say. He he even came out and said, um, Tua is the starting quarterback in this team. He likes the development of Tua. Again, 
he's gonna be the st starting quarterback coming coming this year. And I don't. Ha that's the best thing. Brian Flores came out the same, basically the same thing. I think Brian Flores is a hell of a coach. He should win Coach of the Year, even though he didn't make the playoff, but he earned that right. Because where he took this team from from a year ago to now, it's just incredible. Um, I I really like I like the direction this team is headed. Um, how everything's is coming together with this team. So it's gonna listen. Your left your left tackle is coming. Austin Jackson is coming good. Like he he's developing in a fast rate. Um, Robert Hunt too. You got your guard set. So this team is set up and, and got a, a year of experience underneath them. So I like where this team is headed. I like how everything is connected. Um, now we need weapons. Uh, I don't think we have weapons. You got Albert Wilson's gonna come back. You know Albert Wilson lead the lead. Um, two, I think two years ago on separation, getting separation. You get him back in here, you draft uh, a Smith or a Chase, a Waddle, whatever the case may be, you draft one of those guys, I think you'll be fine. I think you will be fine on wide receiver. And then Parker could be your third best and Preston Winner could be a, a, a trade, um, somebody you trade, you know, and, and, and you keep on working. You keep on grind, grinding. I, I really like this team, the future of this team, and and then not resigning Chan Giggly. That's a big plus to me. I know fans wanted him gone, and he listen. He was. That's why I didn't come came out and and say anything because I I it was not official yesterday, and and if you know this team. Like I do, that's why I didn't report anything yesterday. I, Cause this team doesn't do it like that. This team does it after they have a press conference and then the next day they decide. If you find a Brian Forrest, that's the pattern. And that's why I didn't believe the, the statement, you know? Um, but that's why everybody had to retract about that statement. But I like I like the direction. The future is bright for Miami. Like everybody's been asking me, what what we, if we had the draft, I would trade down at three if I could get a, a other first round draft pick. And I know I could get Smith and eighteen. I know I could get uh, Kyle Pitts. It's a done deal. I take those two players all day. You got weapons. Then in the in the second round, I get my guy Harris if he's not there. What whoever one running backs there, I don't think. I don't draft running backs high. I just don't. I I, I don't like dra drafting running backs in the first round. That's me. Just n never been one of those guys that need to. And then I get a second round office alignment and build the wild of them China. Um, I still like swells, but I think this team needs playmakers. And I think you could get a not a great ta tackle like swells, but you could get a pretty good tackle in the second round. I really do. Um, we still need a center. I think that's a key position that you got to fill in the draft or free agency. Um, but I'll, I'll be, I'll bring back 10 cars, uh, lot. I'll bring Ted back and sign him for a one year deal and, and keep on going from there. Um, so the, the, the future is bright guys. The future is bright. And, and to, like everybody has to relax on tour. People don't like Miami. Okay, and, and that's the key, that's the fact. Anything, everybody was jumping on the tour and then all of a sudden, people are crapping. I'm hearing it from, from my friends, I'm hearing from a lot of people. Yeah, I got to relax, he's a rook, he was rehabbing, he didn't have his, we he doesn't have weapons. You got to relax, it's one year, let's see what, what the second year will bring. And then after three years, if he was doing the same thing, then we could talk. Then we could say, yeah, it was a bad draft pick, but relax, guys. We see it time and time again. Jabriz took three or four years to read up. To read up. There's a lot of guys like that. So relax, breathe, and listen. Justin Herbert has to go to a, a new offense. 
so again it, it, it everything is, is something um so let's see what happens like i said anthony lynn Bill o'brien i would like one of those guys they have familiarity with brian forrest i think they are great office of mine coaches i want those two guys if i could get uh officer coordinator it's those two guys maybe they're not great head coaches but they're hell of offensive mind and i my thing is i think leonard is first in my list if he doesn't get a head coaching job i take him i take him man i, I think because he's that mindset he look what he did with justin herbert I, I would take that that guy he knows how to run offenses he's a great offensive mind uh and he develops young quarterbacks. So that's to me, is key. He develops, Changeli does not develop young quarterbacks, but this guy do. So that's to me, is key. But O'Brien, same way, he develops young quarterbacks and, and he will fit the offense to Tua. To, uh, those are my two picks. Now, if you ask me, well, I go to the college rank, whoever worked with Tua in the college rank, I will bring him up. Just like, he, like, Arizona did a smart move, Harry Kingsbury for Murray. Smart move. That's what I'm saying. I, it, to me, that's the key, that's the key for me. Now, I could say that's crazy, but to me, that is the key. You built the office around your quarterback. You've seen it. The guys who have success, you built around your quarterback. You give them weapons and you build it, and and see what happens. To me. That's how you build, that's how you build, build trust with your quarterback and you believe in your quarterback. And like I said, Tua been, was rehabbing all year. So again, that's what, um, that's what I would do. So let's see what, I can't wait for the draft and, and free agency so we could keep on. Listen, football is year round. I'm watching, if you see behind me, I'm watching the Heat game. So after this, I'm gonna do a Heat video and keep on going. I was gonna do a mock draft to see if I could do a mock draft today. I was, if I can, I will do it tomorrow. Um, I just got off of work so late, guys. So that's the key. Um, so guys, thank you so much for the support, the energy, everything y'all bring to the table. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for sh sharing, liking, everything that y'all bring to the table. So thank you, guys. Guys, I'm out. God bless. Be safe. Be cobra free. Be be safe out there. It's crazy time. So help everybody doing well and be safe. So I'm out, guys. God bless.